This is a Nancadif 60 volt 5 amp power supply. Uh, you can see the heat sink's a little small here, but it's ideally placed right next to the fan. Uh, many people put heat sinks and, uh, you know, they're a long distance from the fan, they're not getting good airflow. Uh, the heat sink is small, so the fan will probably more, run more than uh, often with some other power supplies. Uh, the transistors are located right underneath there. The heat sink removes with uh, two, two screws, so you could easily get at the transistors. Everything's easy to get at if uh, you were to work on this, and most people don't work on electronics, but this is, you know, just really nice to get at. It's a very clean design, but it's very small. Uh, this is another 60 volt uh, 5 amp power supply, and it's about 20, a little over 25% bigger in size. So if you're, uh, you know, tight on the bench space, this is a nice little power supply. Now this one is, uh, has encoders, and you don't have the fine and uh, coarse pots. You know, I always hate it when you, you go to adjust something and you reach the end of the fine pot and you haven't reached the voltage. With this, once you start turning it, you can hear the beeps. Uh, you can set this at, you know, that's a tenth of a volt. Now it's at the 1 volt and the 10 volt. You can change any of these. So, like if you're testing something, you want to go up in 1 volt steps, it's really easy. But if you want to go in a, a hundredth of a volt steps from 0 to 60 volts, you could do that. So, it's uh, really nice. Uh, it has a run. So, we have a resistor load right there. And... Uh, Oh, over three amps. We're getting about 150 millivolts of uh, noise. Uh, all digital supplies have this. It's not really a big issue. Uh, so, uh, one of the things here is uh, this is OCP. So, if we go and... Uh, Increase the amount of current. It goes to overcurrent protection, so it shuts off. Now, by hitting this long, let me. It resets it. Now it's just uh, constant current. But in constant current, if you have a project and uh, you're working on it and something shorts out, uh, it's just going to sit there and pump out max amps whatever you have the uh, current set at and with over current protection uh, it sees that maximum current and shuts off really nice so that's done with a long press on the current button this is your uh, output on power switch you get your USB uh, this is just kind of a nice little power supply uh, one thing that's a little weird is uh, the leads do not come with banana jacks at the end. And and frankly, many banana jacks are uh, rather poor quality. Those ones that will swivel with the little spring that rotates around, I have a lot of problems with those. They have a lot of resistance. I just miss being able to grab a pair of leads on a power supply and putting them on something else. But uh, that's it. It's, it's small. It's compact. It's very basic. But it's probably all you really need. If you're going to run, uh, you know, charge battery, you know, LiPo battery packs, and you're going to leave it on all weekend at max volt, max current, uh, I would never suggest using a power supply over half its ratings. But for occasional use and stuff, this is uh, this is really nice, and and I do love these encoder controls.